One Scotland, many cultures. This is the image of Scotland that the Scottish Government wished to portray to the rest of the world, a forward-thinking and inclusive society. However, one issue in modern Scotland is never far from the headlines, sectarianism. Sectarianism can be defined as an adherence to a particular sect, party or denomination. When different members display attitudes and behaviours such as prejudice and bigotry towards each other. Sectarianism in present-day Scotland comes in many forms, often starting with jokes between friends and family, which later escalates to chants, graffiti, discrimination, threats, physical violence and even murder. We here at True Colours wanted to find out more about people's experiences and perceptions of sectarianism within Edinburgh. We carried out our own research in the form of surveys and interviews. Our research is part of a wider Scottish government investigation and we worked in partnership with the Scottish Voluntary Action Fund, who funded our work. Well, I suppose sectarianism is uh, a variety of things, really. It, it would be the uh, discrimination against somebody else because of their religious background or adherence or beliefs. It would be uh, inciting others, I think, to discriminate against or hate other people because of their beliefs or creed or their religious background. These would be the main manifestations of sectarianism uh, in terms of what underlies it, in terms of the opinions of the folks who have got that issue. Sectarianism is unfairly labelling anyone of uh, any faith group uh, because of the faith group that they, they belong to. It could be uh, stereotypes, it could be abuse, it could be verbal, it could be any form of communication, physical or otherwise, emotional, that uh, leads you to negatively put anything else with somebody else because they're in a particular faith group. When someone is discriminated against because of their particular religion, so it could be perhaps name calling or being abused in, in some other way because they happen to be a member of a different religion to other people. To me, sectarianism is when people are prejudiced. It's mainly to do with their religious and probably moral beliefs as well, I believe. Anything that's, um, you know, count if they're discriminating against somebody, I'd put that down as sectarianism, but especially if it's to do with religion. According to our survey, a considerable number of people think that sectarianism is an issue in Edinburgh. In relation to schools, while 37% of respondents thought sectarianism is an issue, 54% stated that they didn't know. Worryingly, in schools, our survey highlights that a high number of respondents had experienced or witnessed different types of sectarian behaviour. Hmm. Yeah, I think it, it means to me, well, it's something that I feel very... Uh, angry about having counter sectarianism at different points in my life and as a minister of the Church of Scotland I've seen it on both sides um, and experienced on both sides and it's something that I, I really have always struggled with. I abhor it, I, I dislike it. it, it has caused a lot of problems in various places in various uh, times in the past and I have um, really have no time for sectarianism. It, 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 Puzzles me to some extent. Um, I, I think it's a, for me, it always brings a, a negative emotion to me. It always uh, um, makes me see the effect that it's had on others, uh, people who've been close to me, who've been affected by it. I haven't personally been affected by sectarianism directly. I know a lot of people who, who have, and that makes me really, really sad. Um, I've got friends in Northern Ireland very, very good friends and, and it just makes them so sad when they see their community split up by it. It, it, it really, really upsets them um, and they don't see the possibility of change there just now right away and I think the years and years that it's gone on just takes more and more toll on their, their hearts. It just wears them down and they, they just wish it was over and for me, that's how I feel for them. I just feel for them that I wish it was over for them because it's in their situation it doesn't seem to want to change yet. I think being involved in football, it's, uh, it's, it's quite prevalent. I feel it's very, very dated and it's, it's, a, it's a culture thing. Again, it's, it just comes down to, to religion, which there seems to be a big thing about in this country. Yes, 
I have, and I'm living now, uh, to my neighbors. Um, they think I'm Muslim, that's why they are piling up the uh, Union flags by the close of my windows, and then even, uh, sorry, even Israeli flags saying that uh, flatten Gaza. You know, I'm atheist, but uh, my neighbors are discriminated towards me because of the Muslim. Like any other city, see a lot of anti-religious behaviour, um, whether it's to Christianity, either Protestant or Catholic, or any other religion that's about, you do see a lot of negative views towards it and attitudes and all that sort of stuff, you see violence because of it. Um, whether it's major, I, I don't know if it's anything bigger than, I don't think it's bigger than normal racism or whatever, but um, it's certainly something that's big enough that needs to be stamped out and get rid of forever. Yeah, quite a lot. Both playing and and spectating at games. I think in the past I was absolutely blown away when I was at a Rangers and Celtic reserve game. There was 20,000 people at it and a lot of supported Rangers at the time. I was in the Celtic end because my friend played for them. And the, the, the religious, the bigotry at the game was just absolutely incredible for which, which was actually a reserve game. Just, I just couldn't believe it. It was like nine minutes of just constant hatred. I've, I've maybe experienced small, um, either accidental, if, if, if you want to put it that way, in terms of maybe pupils have said things without actually actually thinking about it, uh, maybe reacting to what they've ever seen um, outside of school. Uh, no major incidents. There has been a couple over the years where I've had to pull pupils aside and actually... Um, explained to them what they said there was, was pretty hurtful to, to other people and to other members of, of the class and the school and the wider community. So uh, not 100%, you know, a, bit, a big instance, but certainly small little comments have had to be picked up on uh, by myself and, and the department. Mm -hmm. I've un maybe unusually experienced it from people who would identify or think they identify with the group that I belong to, which they would call the Protestant community. Uh, I'm a Church of Scotland minister and, and so they would regard me as one of them and yet it's because within the communities where I was working I was trying to work with the local Roman Catholic Church that they, uh, I suppose, subjected me to something that I would regard as sectarianism and uh, I felt that I was a victim in that context of sectarian uh, discrimination. When asked if people felt that sectarianism was a problem for religious communities, 46% felt that it was a problem, while only 8% stated they felt it wasn't. 46% stated that they didn't know. I think we need to raise awareness about sectarianism. I think uh, in Edinburgh, uh, uh, people think that sectarianism is uh, totally normal. But it's not normal at all. So we have to raise awareness and educate people about sectarianism. A lot is done in modern day culture through the Scottish Government, through uh, the One Scotland campaign, or even our Respect campaign here at school. But uh, yeah, there needs a, a huge shift still, I, I believe, in, uh, in, in culture to change society. But it's very difficult and, and it probably won't happen overnight. But I think we're, we're, uh, we're certainly along the right lines. I just think it's more and more education because a lot of it's through maybe fear or a bit of naivety and lack of education. People, I think people sometimes don't uh, necessarily mean what they say or what they do. It's just how maybe some people have always acted and uh, maybe through a lack of education. So I think just more, more in schools, more uh, acknowledgement and more kind of mutual respect, which again we do hear a lot in Gracemount. So I would say um, education probably, especially at high school and primary schools, is probably the most important thing to change. I think we need to uh, highlight the problems, uh, maybe more interfaith dialogue, um, even by advertising or highlighting the major impacts it has. Um, also, there should be more awareness in schools um, so that the youngsters can be educated in Edinburgh. The key way of addressing the sectarian issue is education, awareness and discovering and meeting with other people from different traditions and that awareness would bring about, I believe, a better understanding and that better understanding would 
begin to dissolve the need for sectarianism.